Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to share with you how I'm using thrifted and vintage finds to help me wrap my Christmas presents this year. I shared with you back in the summer how I use vintage finds to wrap presents and you guys really enjoyed that video and many of you requested that I do another one come the holidays. So I am creating this video for all of you who requested it and for those of you who didn't, what I like to do is pick up different sewing notions and little bits and bobs that I can decorate my packages with and I pick these things up for pen so I have a couple examples to share with you today one that is wrapped in brown paper wrapping as that's a real great neutral way to wrap gifts year-round and then some festive colorful Christmas wrap example because a lot of us like the brown paper but some of us like the more festive stuff this time of year so I thought I'd do one of each to give you a great idea of what I like to do with that I will take you into my living room and we will wrap some gifts together. Okay, so we're gonna start with wrapping a gift for my son. I have it pre-wrapped in the brown paper package. This particular gift has two to go with it in one. So we're gonna stack them and wrap them this way. This package is a little bit unusual as it has this funny bump out. It's not flat like this side, but I think it'll work together quite nicely. I recommend the brown paper from Dollar Tree. It's my favorite for gift wrap as it's not as thick and it's easier to get uh, around the corners and sticking with the tape. <laughs> I have a few things that I've picked out to use to wrap. I have this really pretty red vintage rickrack. I got this at a thrift store for a dime. I love this bold color. I have one of these really simple gift tags that I made with some scrapbook paper. I just wrote to Liam, love mom and dad. I've got a little vintage ornament. Whoop. <laughs> I've got a little vintage ornament here to use as a gift topper. Um, he's tiny and on a sled. So that'll be really cute. He came in a grab bag. I got it at a thrift store for like 25 cents. And some jingle bells. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna add the rickrack and um, crisscross it around the box and then I will get back to you all. So I hope you can see we've got our little package there. I just crisscrossed it and gave it a knot at the top. Before I tie the bow, I'm going to add the tag just like that and the little ornament I'm just going to use the ornament uh, thread here to slide it down and then the jingle bells and for the jingle bells it can be a little tricky to get them through that little loop but it's not too bad especially on these larger jingle bells. They do sell jingle bells at the Dollar Tree, so if you can't find them secondhand, you can always try the Dollar Tree for jingle bells. This one's too small, so I'm not going to be able to fit it over the Rick Rack, but I can save this. This will be a good one to use with the Baker's Twine on a different gift. So now all I have to do is add a simple bow. And here we go. It looks cute from the front. It looks cute from the top. Okay, so here's the next gift. I'm going to show you guys how I wrap using vintage and repurposed items. The package itself I wrapped in a colorful wrapping paper to show you what that's like. I've shown you the brown paper package on the other one, and this is the more like a bold print. I've done both ways. I've gone all brown paper package in the past, and I've gone all bright colors in the past and now I kind of like to do a little bit of both and whatever you enjoy whatever you have on hand is what you can use and work with so this is a piece of ribbon that I saved off of a package from last year and I'm going to slide this onto this package this is a bow I saved off of a Christmas tree in a recent project you might have seen that in Friday's video and I thought that it might look a little bit like a poinsettia with the leaves coming out from the green ribbon. And then I have this little green Christmas ball. And again, this came in like a package of little Christmas things I picked up. And I thought I'd add that to the center. 
I think that'll look really cute. I'm just gonna use one of these sticker tags on here. This one, I love the colors and the polka dots. This is a gift from Molly, so I thought that she would really enjoy that colorful look. So I'm gonna start out adding the green ribbon. So that's how the ribbon looks on there. It looks pretty good. This piece has some pipe cleaner on the back and I'm gonna use that to wrap around the ribbon. So next I'm just gonna get my glue gun, add a drop of glue and add that on. Okay, last step. I'm just gonna add this little uh, sticker. Kind of add an angle, I think. Yeah. That. And voila! This gift is all cute and ready to go under the tree. In addition to the gift wrap ideas, I thought I would share with you some of my other materials that I have on hand just to give you some further ideas and inspiration. Okay, so here are some other options for things you can use as gift toppers that you could find at a thrift store or rummage sale, estate sale, that sort of thing. So one of my favorites is jingle bells because you can attach them and add something festive and is very neutral. These are some ornaments that you could find at the Dollar Tree or in groups of ornaments at places like Walmart and such, and these make really good little toppers, especially the fabric ones, because they won't get broken if they get, you know, another package placed on top or something. Here's an example of an ornament I found at a rummage sale. It was 10 cents or something like that. It's nice and flat. This would make a really great gift topper. These little satin balls came in some sort of grab bag I found at a thrift store, I think last year, and I've been using them. They're so cute grouped together just by themselves with some twine, really cute option as well. Things like vintage stickers or stamps are also really cute on top of packages. And then these are just little doodads, little tiny ornaments or things like that that I have picked up in different grab bags. There's a nutcracker, a little angel, and a little rocking horse. This actually came off an ornament that broke and I saved it. How cute would that be tied with some red yarn on top of a child's package? So all different kinds of options for gift toppers, all from secondhand sources or the Dollar Tree. Okay, so these are options for ribbons for wrapping your gifts that I find secondhand and I think are so wonderful to use. The first and most obvious is vintage ribbon. I got this for 50 cents at a yard sale and it's one of my favorites. I've used it to decorate with and wrap presents. Vintage trims are really wonderful for packages as well because they have such great texture. This is a golden one that has some shimmer. It's really pretty and how beautiful is this dark green one. That would look really pretty on a brown paper package or with a fun pattern that had green in it. Look at that texture. It's just perfect for a Christmas gift. Baker's twine is a classic. You can actually find this almost about everywhere these days, the Dollar Tree, Target, craft stores, and it looks really cute on brown paper packages or with pattern wrapping paper, but I love to like double or triple it up when I use it to give it a little bit more volume. Some other fun options that I like to use are Rick Rack. I use them in all different sizes and you can think outside the typical color palette at Christmas because things like this pretty aqua blue would look really cute paired with something like this red on a brown paper package. That would be really cute. Throw a jingle bell on top and you've got a really adorable package. This is some lace seam binding. And even though it's not your typical colored lace, it would look absolutely beautiful on a brown paper package. And there's just so many options. I also threw in this black Rick Rack. I actually really enjoy wrapping with black at Christmas time and uh, this is super cute with jingle bells. Blanket bindings and seam bindings are really wonderful. If you find that they come out of the package kind of wrinkled, you can always run them through your straightening iron and it just straightens them out real quick and makes them really nice and crisp for package wrapping. And last but not least, lace. 
any and all lace pretty much looks so sweet on Christmas packages. I hope you enjoyed wrapping gifts with me today and seeing all the bits and bobs that I like to collect to wrap my gifts with. If you are new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here at this sweet and simple home. I love making my home beautiful little by little, especially this time of year. And thrifting is kind of my favorite thing. So if you love that too, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell as well with all the notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed holiday season and I will be back with more soon. Bye!